dear learners uh, i welcome you all to this video lecture on wholesaling so this unit is a part of your fourth semester marketing specialization course and the name of the course is your uh, sales and distribution and supply chain management which is in your mba fourth semester program so after going through this unit you will be able to define the concept of wholesaling then explain the importance of wholesaling then we will discuss a uh, various types of wholesalers then we will explain the functions of wholesalers and at the end of this uh, video lecture we will discuss the latest trends in wholesaling so uh, in this video lecture we are going to discuss about wholesaling so what is wholesaling wholesaling is the sale and distribution of goods to specific customer types such as those uh, most commonly referred to as retailers again retailers are the persons Uh, who will resell the goods to an end user that means to the customers so uh, we will discuss about retailers in the next unit generally in wholesaling activity the buying or selling of goods takes place in large amounts uh, especially in order to sell them uh, in shops or supermarkets compared to uh, like retailing in this video lecture we will briefly discuss in various types and functions of wholesaling and the latest trends in wholesaling so before uh, discussing the concept of wholesaling we should first know what is channel of distribution and why wholesaling is important part in this uh, channel of distribution so uh, in a channel of distribution channel of distribution means when uh, from the manufacturer the good will ultimately reach to the customers so there are three types of channel of distribution one is your direct channel that means from the producer it will directly go to the consumer then in second channel like uh, from producer it will go to the distributor distributor we can also consider as wholesaler or sometimes different agents are also there and then from that uh, it will go to the consumer then in third uh, type of channel of distribution from the uh, producer it will go to the wholesalers then it will go to the retailers or distributors and then ultimately it will reach to the consumers so in the first channel uh, we can see like direct channel or okay direct marketing we can call where the producer directly sells their goods uh, to the customers then in the second channel uh, there is only one middleman uh, which is uh, we can say a distributor or retailer then uh, in the third channel we can see uh, like wholesaler plays a major role in the distribution channel now let us discuss the concept of wholesaling in details so uh, wholesaling refers to all those activities uh, which involves selling of the goods and services to those who buy for reselling uh, or for the other business purposes so uh, wholesaling excludes the retailers as uh, they concerned with selling to ultimate consumers in small quantities and manufacturers as they are involved in production uh, most importantly so the wholesalers deal with business customers rather than final customers so they pay at least attention to promotion location or the atmosphere the transaction involves in wholesale are larger than the retail and also the uh, trade area is large also the legal uh, regulations and taxes are different uh, for wholesalers than for retailers so wholesalers uh, and retailers differ from each other in a various ways wholesaling is an important aspect of distribution it has a significant impact on economy and also it plays a tremendous role in the distribution channel and creates a strong relation with suppliers and customers operating cost for wholesalers includes inventory charges uh, sales force salaries then rent charges advertising cost etc so from the cost perspective the impact of wholesalers on prices is very high the profit of wholesaler depends on inventory turnover money value of the product and functions performed by them etc there are various types of wholesalers so uh, now let us discuss those first one is your merchant wholesalers uh, their businesses are independently owned and title taken to the merchandise they handle uh, full service 
and limited service wholesalers are there. So what is full service wholesaler? They carry stock, maintain a sale force, then offer credits, make deliveries, and provide management assistance. These wholesalers sell to the retailer and industrial distributors to sell the manufacturers and uh, uh, goods and provide credit to the delivery services. Then comes the limited service wholesalers. So these wholesalers sell a limited line of fast moving consumer goods to small retailers. Then special wholesalers, agricultural assemblers, then uh, petroleum uh, bulk plants and terminals and auction companies fall under this specialized wholesalers category. Now let us discuss the functions of wholesalers. In the process of uh, marketing of goods, the wholesalers perform a number of functions, which will be, first one is your assembling and buying. The wholesalers assembles and or collects small lot of uh, products to the, and then they will distribute it to the retailers. Then warehousing. Wholesalers hold inventories and uh, they get, there is always a gap between the time period of production and consumption. So they require huge inventory or okay, warehousing okay, is required for the wholesalers to sell their products. Then transporting. Wholesalers can provide the, a quicker delivery to the uh, retailers. This transportation is done either through their own fleet or through the higher uh, transportation system. Then financing. By granting credit to the retailers and franchises, the wholesalers provides the goods to the okay, retailers. So they provide financial help to the retailers. Like uh, you can uh, take the goods now and you can uh, pay the retailers after, uh, pay the wholesalers after uh, your goods are sold. Then risk bearers. So risks are unavoidable in business uh, which need to be borne and shifted. The risk of loss of change of price, then damage, quality deterioration, or maybe fire or other circumstances. All these risks are uh, bared by wholesalers uh, for the, on behalf of the retailers. Then grading, packaging, and packing. So grading is an important task of wholesalers wherein the stocks are sorted in terms of different sizes, qualities, shapes, and so on. So to meet uh, a small lot of requirements of the retailers, bulk breaking is done and they repack the goods for the retailers. Then dispersing and selling. Wholesaler sales uh, forces help the manufacturers to reach the small business customers at a relatively low cost. The assembled goods and the stocks are dispersed uh, and uh, it is sold to the retailers and the small businesses. Then providing market information. Information regarding uh, competitors' activities, new products, price developments, etc. are uh, provided by the wholesalers to the suppliers and the customers. Now uh, we will discuss the latest trends in wholesaling. So manufacturers often have some issues uh, related with uh, marketing. So uh, wholesalers, okay, uh, they, sometimes what we see nowadays, like uh, these companies, they are directly selling their products through online or like uh, direct marketing or social media marketing. It is booming. So uh, it is a threat for the wholesalers. So major complaints against the wholesalers are manufacturers' product uh, lines are not aggressively promoted by the wholesalers or customers' orders are not filled fast enough as the wholesalers do not carry enough stock. So up-to-date market, customers are competitive information are not provided by wholesalers. So even a uh, direct buying program were designed by large manufacturers and retailers for which the wholesalers had a significant decline. In order to meet the changing needs of the customers and suppliers, the successful wholesalers had to adapt their services and add value to it. The constant changes in the latest uh, trends compelled the wholesalers to reduce the operating cost and invest in advanced materials uh, like handling materials handling technologies, information system and internet. 
So the latest trend of increase in price and uh, like absorbing the competent suppliers based on cost and quality, the position of wholesaler industry is at a risk. So the manufacturer still remains strong by controlling the intermediaries and owing uh, them too. So some of the major trends uh, in this wholesaling industries are like the distribution between large retailers and large wholesalers continues. Like while uh, many retailers now operate um, formats such as uh, wholesale clubs or super centers or supermarkets. So uh, they perform the like functions like wholesalers, which is again a treat for the wholesalers. Then both the recently sluggish economy and the demand for increased services have put the uh, squeeze of wholesaler uh, market and uh, wholesalers profit. So, however, the increased use of computerized, automated and web-based system will help the wholesalers to contain the cost of ordering, shipping and inventory holding, thus boosting their productivity. So, dear learners, uh, now we will just sum up whatever we have discussed in this unit. So, in this video lecture, uh, we have discussed about wholesaling. Like wholesaling refers to all those activities which involve selling the goods or services to those who buy for reselling or for the business purpose. The wholesalers deal with business customers rather than final customers. So they uh, pay at least attention to promotion, location and atmosphere. In the marketing process of goods, wholesalers play a crucial role by performing various functions. Like uh, wholesalers gather small lot of uh, scattered products and uh, like they make it as a bulk, by bulk purchase. So they also select manufacturers, they place uh, order and make special purchases for seasonal products. Wholesalers uh, maintain inventories to bridge the gap between the production and the consumption period. Then they try to reduce the risk and inventory cost for retailers and producers. Wholesalers provide quick delivery to the retailers, utilizing their uh, own transportation system, and then their uh, own warehousing and resale system. So uh, wholesalers undertake financing tasks by granting credit to the retailers and supporting suppliers through uh, early orders and timely payments. So wholesalers bear various business risks such as uh, price change, damage, quality deterioration, theft and uh, non-payment by retailers. Then contributing to the risk management in the supply chain. So wholesalers uh, engage in grading to sort the stocks based on size, quality and shape. They perform bulk breaking for retailers and uh, repacking for the customers as per the retailer's order. Wholesalers utilize uh, sales force to help the manufacturers uh, reach small business customers and uh, in a cost-effective way. They uh, disperse and sell assembled and stocked uh, goods to the suppliers and customers. Then the wholesalers supply valuable market information to the uh, retailers and customers including details on competitor, competitors' activities, new products, and price development, etc. So, thank you, uh, learners. We'll see you again in another unit. Thank you.